Hi guys, just doing a quick video review on the Lee Bags Dutch Town Genuine Buffalo Leather Backpack. So first of all, what I do is I'll give you a good look around this bag. So as you can see, it's a relatively, it's not, it's not a massive backpack. It's really nice actually. Um, it fits really, or it sits really nicely on my back as well. Um, and I actually really, really like this bag. So what I've done is, I'll, I'll, what I'll do is I'll give you a good look around the bag. Um, you can see here um, all of the bags pockets are lined in this khaki material with it being a leather as well um, and I think in particular with regards to the Lee bags range it seems like the leather is, it, um, is really thick and um, it's all really quite sturdy so let's start taking a look at all of the different pockets so you can see on the front here I've got one zip pocket which I want to do for you so you can see relatively small zipper pocket just there we undo the top one just here and then I've got a larger front pocket as well so we've got a nice pocket there again I've got another zip here and I've got what is a half moon pocket just there as well you can see I can get lots of knickknacks and little bits and bobs just there and then I've got another side zip pocket that I've just undone and in here I've got a really big internal space I'll just open that up so you can take a good look and in this pocket, I've got two internal pockets as well. So they are both equal size and they're size of probably a mini, uh, the size of a calculator, I'd say. Um, and I've got two of those pockets. Again, it's the attention to detail, which is always nice. Uh, Lee bags have gone to the um, detail of actually lining the top of the pocket in the same level material um, as the entire bag. And that lining is nice and thick as well. You undo the zip on the other, on the final compartment and you've got a, another pocket here. So in this pocket, again, you've got a really nice internal cavernous space. And you also hopefully can see you've got a zip pocket here. So we undo that zip and you've got a quite a deep storage space actually just here as well. So you've got lots of space in here. Third, um, and then finally, you have um, another zip pocket just there. So you can do that and you've got quite a deep, again, quite a deep pocket just here. Again, the good thing about this pocket actually, which I quite like, is because it's on your back, once you put it on, no one can access that pocket. So if you're traveling, if you're going abroad and, you know, you've got, you've gone somewhere where, you know, there are pickpockets about and you want to make sure you've, um, all of the important bits are nice and safe, stick them in this pocket, no one will be able to access it. Again, the other things that I like about this bag are the attention to detail. So with it being a leather bag, um, you know, it, it, it is quite dear in comparison to normal backpacks. But with a leather bag, it should last a lifetime. And what reassures me that this should last a lifetime is the stitching. Everything has been stitched really well. All of the stitching is nice and straight. They've used a really nice thick thread. Um, where needed, they've also double stitched certain areas to make sure it's nice and secure. So I'll show you just here. You can see where all of the shoulder straps go into. It's been double stitched, but then they've put not one, but they put four rivets into here as well to make sure it's nice and secure and sturdy. The straps itself, they're on the thinner side in comparison to, uh, or yeah, they are relatively thin. They're not the thickest. Um, and they run thin all the way down, so they're not thick at any point. They're fine. Um, I've had this bag loaded up with quite a bit of stuff, actually, and it's fine on the um, chest. And with this bag, what I do is I wear it for you guys. You can see it sits nicely as well. And with it being thinner, I find, for me, it, it to be a bit more comfortable. Um, the straps on this are really easy to adjust as well. So unlike um, the plastic uh, adjusters where you have to keep threading it through and threading it out with this being metal you literally just tug and you can adjust it all as well so I've been using this probably coming up to four or five days now as well and I've had my textbooks in here I've had my books in here taken it to work with me and I found it an absolute pleasure to actually use the fact that it's got loads of pockets means it's really really versatile when I can find a pocket for anything that I really need um, I haven't actually been able to utilize all of the pockets. Um, so I've I've used probably that pocket, the second pocket, and the front pockets, and actually I've ended up with a few extra pockets which have always been empty. 
which is always a good thing because it means I've I've still got more uses for this bag. So to the ratings, um, I can't see a single reason why I wouldn't give this bag as five stars. I think it's going to very quickly become a favourite bag of mine. Um, and I think I'm going to use it a lot as well. So that's the end of my review, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.